Hello everybody, this is Dan aka, Entertainment WF. Today I shall be discussing why the statement 1 plus 1 equals 2 is not a universal statement in mathematics. Now, I'm sure one would immediately try to think, oh damn where did you learn your maths from, a creationist? Believe it or not, this is a much deeper question than it appears to be on the surface. This has very much to do with the universality of mathematics, which much work began in the late 19th century and early 1900s on this. Believe it or not, the very machine being some form of computer you are using to view this is an example of what is being discussed. Before, we get into the juicy details. Let us first define something. What is a universal statement? A universal statement is a sentence which is true and when applied to any system of logic it should hold formally. When I mean formally I am speaking from a mathematical statement view. Probably since you were a child you were taught that 1 plus 1 equals 2. Or that 2 plus 2 equals 4. To make this clear, this statement is correct under the scope of specific number systems. These systems are transitive to natural numbers. These numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and are contained in a set usually labeled as a blackboard and there are specific rules we call axioms in mathematics which are designated using operands and input values, which one could think of as the symbols one could use to write down their maths in. Most axioms are defined, and typically cannot be proven mathematically. This comes to the first juicy point we must consider when investigating this problem. What dictates universality? Ends up for a statement to be universal, it must hold to three criterions. These are completeness, consistency, and decidability. Completeness means we can prove everything formally within that system. Consistency means there does not exist a statement in the system which proves the negation of the statement which could produce a contradiction using the rules of that system. Decidability means, does there exist a systematic means for proving every statement which could decide the validity of the proposition as true or false. Ends up unfortunately, it is impossible to reach any statement in mathematics which contains all three. When I state impossible, I mean impossible. There are two main theorems I would like to touch upon to help with this discussion. The first is called Godel's incompleteness theorem, well at least one part of it. In very basic this theorem states there exists no logical system which is complete and consistent. This means there are systems which are complete and inconsistent, inconsistent systems which are incomplete or systems which are neither. The main system Godel discovered that is incomplete is arithmetic. This means we cannot prove every statement in arithmetic. This was not taken well on its first discovery since it really tore down the dream of having all true statements provable. The insight of this is there exist statements which could be true, but you cannot prove them to be true. This is where axioms came in. The next important detail is that it only gets worse. Arithmetic is undecidable. You can think of this as you can never prove arithmetic using a program on a computer or generate all proofs systematically in arithmetic. This means that the main guiding forces of arithmetic are axiomatic. Now on this point, by Godel's incompleteness theorem demonstrates that 1 plus 1 equals 2 cannot be a universal statement. It is just a rule scope to some number systems. To show why this holds, all you have to do is create another number system that extends the algebras of arithmetic and change the axioms then call this another system of arithmetic. One must remember that numbers are just symbols, and they can be defined as values as they please. As shown we could define the symbol 1 by an axiom as the value 1.5 and make 1 plus 1 equal 3 which contradicts our original system. This is why 1 plus 1 equals 2 is not a universal statement. The beauty of this is that computer programs define their own systems like this. Each assignment is a new rule or statement in that program. All programs have these limitations but unlike axiomatic systems computer programs if they are recursive, they can be decided always. 
I hope this helps understand these limitations because there are more of these and mathematicians and theoretical computer scientists are in the pursuit of these since they help us know what can be proven in the formal realms of science and beyond. On that note, have a beautiful day.